What's going on everyone? This is Thomas from What Thomas Says Media and this video is me taking a trip to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida and getting on the Tron cycle ride for the first time. Uh, it was a beautiful, beautiful night. Um, I definitely suggest everyone that wants to get on this ride to at least try it once at nighttime. Um, here are some of the footage that I took going, walking through the park there. Um, it's located inside of Tomorrowland and there are a lot of things you walk by to see, like I showed the people mover and everything, but here's the front entrance of the actual ride. Beautiful, beautiful signage and the lighting is simply spectacular. Before this ride came out, my favorite ride at Disney World was Space Mountain and um, I just love the the lights and, and and strobe lights and just everything just flashing and just it just made an amazing ride. This ride I would say is in that same ballpark as far as my favorite rides at um, Walt Disney World in Orlando. Um, I would say the only thing that I kind of really didn't really like is that it wasn't a ride where you know you could bring your phone on, which is not a big deal to everybody. But for me, filming this ride. Um, it was a big deal because I couldn't take my phone on the ride to show you what it actually looked like while being on the cycle. But here's a, a picture and video of um, the cycles. You can actually get on those just to see how you would feel and if you could fit on them and just if you're comfortable. And um, I would say of something that matters, the thing that didn't really, um, I didn't really like was just the comfortability. Like leaning forward on the light cy cycle was kind of, uncomfortable um, initially, but you know, once you're riding on it, it feels really good. Uh, walking through it, they just did a great job with all of the decorations and signs and stuff. You really felt like you were on Tron the movie. Um, pretty much all the newish rides, going through the queues and stuff, walking, um, they just do an, an incredible job of the decorations and then just all of the signage and everything there. Um, I just couldn't believe it. I thought this was really cool where you can actually, when you're walking through the queue, you can actually see the ride actually um, before you get to it. And um, yeah, there's a lot of glass in there and there was a lot of uh, people, obviously. It was a, you know, a newish ride. Uh, so when you're on the ride, everything is pretty much, uh, once again, color coordinated and they only have a blue team. For some reason in the signage, they have like a red team, they have like a yellow, here's a yellow team right here. Um, they had a green one as well, but the ride is only in blue. So you're like literally only on the blue team. So that I thought that was weird. Uh, before you get on the ride, they actually have lockers and stuff, um, which are free. Uh, so anything that's loose, they make you lock up like hats and um, phones and keys and bags and just everything. Uh, most rides at Disney, you don't need to lock anything up. Actually, I don't. I can't really think of any ride you need to lock anything up. Um, the rides are pretty good with having like little cubby storage areas or just um, the rides aren't too extreme where stuff would fall off you. But this ride, they actually make you take everything off, which is great, you know, because sometimes you have to save people from themselves. So um, yeah, when you get on, it's two people side by side. You're leaning forward just like how it is here, how it was after the ride. And uh, here's me getting back after um, the ride was over. I kept my phone in my pocket in my jacket so it was secure. So I was able to record a little bit once I was getting off. Here are the lockers that you um, get your stuff out of when you leave. And once again, like I said, um, they didn't have different color teams. So here was the green one. Uh, you see that as you leave, it's a nice little display model. Once again, beautiful signage. And, um, you know, walking outside was beautiful. Um, and I got so lucky when I walked out, um, the fireworks were getting ready to um, start and they actually started when I was walking out. So I got to see a beautiful fireworks show. So if you're in Disney and you want a place where there's not a lot of people, just go to Tron and you can see it out there.